In 2007, following the success of the US version of The Office, Greg Daniels was tasked with coming up with another similar series. Parks and Rec would debut in 2009 to mixed reaction before revamping its style and tone for subsequent seasons and becoming a huge hit. And for as much as we've talked about Parks and Rec on this channel, we've somehow never gone into one of the most important characters in the show, Leslie Nope. Watching the series from start to finish, it's not hard to see the impact that Leslie's not only had on the show, but also on each of the characters in the show. It seems like just about every person who comes into contact with Leslie ends up much better off. But somehow, Leslie remains pretty consistent throughout the entirety of the show, a ball of positivity and energy. So today, let's dive into Leslie Nope and talk about her positive character arc. And of course, consider this your official spoiler warning for the entirety of Parks and Rec. And hey, while we're here, comment down below what you'd like to hear me talk about next. It definitely helps the algorithm not hate my channel. Let's start this off by defining who exactly is Leslie Nope and what is her character. Well, that's honestly not too hard of a question to answer. Leslie could be summed up in just a few words. Ambitious, enthusiastic, and loyal. And these three characters have a huge impact not just on her and her career, but on her friends and all of their lives as well. And as for her character arc, well, she's kind of a flat character, at least when compared to most of the people in the show. Let's compare her to a few other characters in the show. Tom Haverford goes from a local government worker, to a failed entrepreneur, to a failed entrepreneur again, to a successful author. Speaking of which, I'm working on one of these for Tom as well. If you can get this video to 500 likes within two days, I'll get that video up within a week. Andy goes from being a deadbeat boyfriend, to homeless, to a part-time shine, to a children's TV show personality. While Leslie does move through the ranks of local and eventually federal government, she doesn't really change who she is fundamentally, someone who believes in the bureaucracy and goodwill of the government. As we see in the final episode of the series, when she still gleefully goes through the process of local government to fix a swing. We've discussed it before on this channel, but being a flat character does not mean that a character is poorly written. On the contrary, Leslie is a bright point throughout much of the show. While the writing for the show as a whole is nothing short of genius, as I'm sure many of its fans will attest to, Leslie falls into what's called a positive flat arc. This is a character who doesn't really change themselves, but changes the characters and the world around them for the better. This sounds like Leslie to a T, at least to me. And to be fair, I think that Leslie would be pretty happy with that description of her. But let's go through the series with a couple of characters to really get a taste of how exactly this plays out. The biggest example of Leslie's positive effect is someone we've already mentioned, Andy. After Andy and Anne break up, Andy decides to live in the pit outside Anne's home. Around this time, Andy is injured while living in the pit and decides that he is going to sue Pawnee in order to get money and impress Anne. However, Leslie not only talks him out of suing the city, but gets him a job at City Hall as a shoeshine. This eventually leads to Andy and April getting close and marrying, Andy getting a job with Leslie's husband Ben, and eventually his own children's TV show. All of this is brought about because of Leslie helping him get his original job as a shoeshine. Along the same line, April is initially working at City Hall in Pawnee as a college student, but Leslie, kind of forcefully, takes April under her wing and helps to push her to grow and develop as a person, which April hates every minute of. But we see many times throughout the series that Leslie has definitely had an impact on April, with April even managing to get a dog part built and actually butting heads against Leslie while trying to do so. Going up against Leslie is, by itself, an incredibly difficult thing to do, let alone win. But April comes out on top, which speaks for itself for how much influence Leslie has had on her. Leslie eventually takes April to work with her in the National Park Service before April goes off to find her own dream job. Now let's move on to the most important person in Leslie's life, Anne Perkins. At the start of the series, Anne is working as a nurse in a pretty dysfunctional relationship with Andy. The two would break up at the end of the first season. Later in the series, Leslie would push Anne into beginning to date Chris Traeger, while the two do date for a relatively brief time, they would eventually have children and spend their lives together. Anne would also work part-time for City Hall for a while as the Public Relations Director for the Health Department, a position that she is given by Leslie in order to see her more. Honestly, we could go through just about every major character in the show and talk about how Leslie has had a huge positive influence on their lives, but this video would wind up being 30 plus minutes long. Leslie is a strong character and a strong woman. She's someone who exudes confidence and positivity in just about everything she does, 
and it's pretty easy to see how she's positively shaped her friends, Pawnee, and eventually the US. She is the iconic positive character, and that's exactly who she'd want to be. But anyways, this has been 10K Bell, and thanks for watching. Support us on our Patreon if you like the show and want to see more like it. Follow me on Twitter at 10K Bell, and of course, make sure you subscribe for all your entertainment-related content.